to organize a party for about 30 to 40 people here in the UK, it will cost you something about. Yeah, put it there. Keep it there. Big. Put it there. Alright guys, so you are most welcome to my channel. Please, if this is your first time on my channel, do me a favor to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so that you get notified each time I upload a video. So this afternoon, I'm going to be doing some um, Tesco haul, you know, grocery haul. Yes, and I'm going to be telling you how much it will cost you if you are organizing a party, uh, possibly for 30 people, you know, adults and children here in the UK. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be showing you some of the items we got. And uh, this is not from Tesco though. And uh, this is something I got off Amazon. Yes, um, because I was wondering how to go about getting the gift for kids. I saw some bags and what and what should go in the party bags, I mean the gift bags. So I went on Amazon and I found this pack. This is 20 packs and uh, I got this for 22 pounds, you know. It is easy, pre-filled birthday pack. They have the children's stuff. I think they have book, puzzle, chocolates and then candies inside. So I got this for 22 pounds, 20 pieces of Amazon. Yeah, so let's do the haul. Um, and I will tell you how much it costs by the end of this haul. Yeah, so firstly, I got this large size non-sticky pot. Why did I buy this pot? I contracted somebody to make Nigerian jello fries for me. The lady stays in Newcastle. I spoke with her on the phone. Yeah, because I tested the jello fries she made somewhere. And it was really tasty and okay. So she told me that it will cost me £70 to make 5 kg of rice. I'll show you the cooler she sent me. 5 kg of jollof rice with 20 pieces of chicken. You know, she said 70 pounds. That was a lot for me because I want to make both jollof rice, fried rice, and some other stuff I want to make. You know, with 70 pounds, I should be able to make both fried rice, jollof rice. In fact, buy even the rice, buy all the chicken, buy the salad stuff with 70 pounds. So I decided to get this pot. Yes. I got it from Tesco. I like buying pots from Tesco though. Yeah, and it's 28 cm. Um, yep. So that's what I'll be using to make them rice. You see, when you are in Obodo Ibo in the UK, as even this is Nigeria, this is like the eve of my son's birthday party. You can't see no relative here. You can't see no one here to help. It's just you and you and yourself, you know. So you see how much somebody is charging me to make a 5 kg rice. So, this is another kind of business you could be doing in the UK. Yeah. So, we got this. We got two of this because we are expecting about 30 to 40 people. We got some drinks for kids. Yeah, so these are just the drinks and uh, for adults, some wines. Not all the drink anyway. These are for the adults and for the kids. They are also here. And more drinks. So, um, basically, Lidl is usually the shop where I like buying my grocery. But as it was this spot that actually took me to Tesco today. You know, so I decided to buy everything, get on a cab and come home. This very chicken, this is a chicken portion. Yesterday, I went to Iceland. I got it for £3.15. But today, at Tesco, it was £3.50. So, you can imagine the difference. Though at Tesco, they use their club card. I've already opened some of the chicken, you know, just to be defrosting. At Tesco uses a club card, but honestly, I didn't really like the difference, you know, when I had to pay the total of everything. The difference or the is this subtraction they made with the club card wasn't really something attractive compared to Lidl. Yeah. So I got this very rice, uh, long grain rice, easy cook. That's what I'll be using for the fried rice, jello, for the fried rice and jello rice. And I got this. Some people wouldn't, no matter what drink you buy, if they've not drank this kind of drink at a party, they never come party. <laughs> some cooking oil. 
I will fry chicken, grilled chicken. Oh yeah, yep. more chicken bags. Yeah, this is uh, one of the chicken portions I got. Onion. I got some prawn juice for my little one. This is not for the party though. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got some soya milk for myself. Still prawn juice. So I got this watermelon, $2.99. That is three pounds. I was watching Ziki's word yesterday. She got a watermelon 49 pence. That was on Easter Saturday or thereabouts. I was 49. Yeah, 49 cents. Yes, in dollars. But look at this, three pounds. But in Lidl, the price is usually less than this. That's why I was not really okay shopping in Tesco. But it's still okay in a way. Yeah, I got a mayo um, for the coleslaw. Got ketchup. Some vegan mayo for us here. I think this is mayo. Got some tomato puree. Mint leaf. I got more glasses for those that will be needing ice in their drink. I actually bought ice cube. It's already in the freezer. I won't be letting that out. Yeah. More vegan mayo for the house. So I got this for the salad because if you make coleslaw, not everyone likes coleslaw. So I will make salad, but it's the British salad. You know, British salad is the easiest salad you can put together compared to our Nigerian kind of salad. It's a lot of work making our Nigerian kind of salad. I got um, some bags of bananas for the banana, fruit banana. More chocolate. All these things are now on sales because Easter is over. I mean the chocolate egg, I mean egg chocolate. Which one? Mm -hmm. I got prawn to top up. Um, just to fry and put on top of the fried rice. You know, Miss Bell Pepe. Oh, I got another chicken bag here. I cut this off. And I will be using milk for the fruit salad. So I bought this whole milk and I bought condensed milk for it just to sweeten it. I bought this already diced uh, carrots. I bought two for the coleslaw. But I wouldn't have time to be cutting everything. This is turmeric. I got some, um, this is carrots for the fried rice. I would have bought chopped one, but uh, the size, they cut it, I didn't like it. So this is cabbage, the kind of cabbage I bought for the coleslaw. This is apple for the fruit salad. And more banana for the fruit salad. I got cucumber for the main salad. And this uh, condensed milk going in the fruit salad. The diced carrot. About great, I don't have one. I left the previous one I have in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> um, I bought the birthday cake for the birthday boy. It's in the fridge. Tomato puree. And I got this in case. And I bought extra cake there. Yeah, cupcakes. Yeah, so this is basically all I got from Tesco this afternoon. And uh, from my receipt, everything cost £175. Yeah, but with the Tesco um, club card, they only minus five pounds. Oh my god, I had to ask the the guy at the till why five pounds. That's quite small, you know, because if it were in um Lidu, once you purchase items worth hundred pounds, they will give you ten pounds in return, and uh, their prices are quite cheaper compared to shopping in Tesco, you know, but. I didn't really want to start walking from Tesco to Lido this afternoon because time is quite limited for me. Is it limited? Yes, limited. That's short for me this afternoon. And as you can see, I'm mostly doing a lot of things on my own. So with basically, with the help of my hobby and my son, I am just putting everything together, ensuring that everything are in order. Yeah. So this night, I'm just going over. I'll be making the sauce for the jello fries, seasoning the chicken. Oh, God. Yeah, so look at that. All I've put together at night, they keep falling and falling. <laughs> what can one do? Everywhere is just littered. Something you can... Everywhere is just littered. We've got some fish there. 
So basically, those of you in Nigeria are really enjoying because when there is a party going on like this, you would see everyone coming to help. You know, family members, relatives, friends, well wishers, and uh, wicked wishers, witches and wizards. Everybody will participate in order to make it very easy for the family of the celebrants. You know, but it's not same here. So here is basically you. You are on your own. And you know why I'm just uh, keeping this party this very time, you know. You know, it's because our little one has not even... As in, he last had crowd in his party that was in Nigeria when he was three. You know, after that, we hosted his parties, his birthday parties in Saudi Arabia for the three times, fourth, fifth, sixth, and no child came. No child was in attendance. So we're just giving him this special surprise so that he really feel the impact today. So the subsequent one is likely not going to be like this because this is a bit stressful, you know, putting all these things together. So meanwhile, I still would prefer shopping in um, Lido compared to Tesco. Yes, because they are way cheaper. It's just brand name. All these things, it's just like pig milk, tray cram milk. It's just brand that differs. You know, it's almost the same packaging with their labeling um, differentiation or something like that. All right, so basically, to organize a party for about 30 to 40 people here in the UK, it will cost you something about... 250 to 300 pounds yeah depending 250 maximum so should be looking at even the drinks the food the chicken you know here when keeping a party people don't joke with chicken <laughs> that's the major thing and chicken are so so cheap here that's another important thing so basically it will cost you something about 250 to 300 yeah so it's not really that bad 